Hi everybody, today I want to talk to you about our new donation system, Charitable. In this lesson, you'll learn how to make a new campaign. You'll learn how to add your payment gateway, such as PayPal or Stripe. You'll learn how to add your campaigns to a page and to add that page to your menu. All right, let's begin. First, you'll see that I'm in the Charitable settings on the dashboard. From here, you go down to campaigns. All right, once you're on the campaign screen, you hit add campaign. Here we are on our add new campaign screen. The first thing you wanna think about is the title of your campaign. Now at your church, you probably have a need for more than one campaign, but one is definitely going to be for the general church budget. Other examples might be raising money for a youth group trip or for a capital campaign. And so let's pretend for this sake that we are making a campaign for our general church budget. And so we're gonna say something like, give to St. Mark's. And then in the description, we wanna put something that inspires your congregants to give generously to your church. You really need to let them know specifically what their dollars are going to provide and to make a compelling message. For your goal and your end date, for your general church fund, you're probably going to have an unlimited goal or end date, which is the default. In the campaign settings sections, you'll have a lot of options for how you wanna tweak your campaign and make it more desirable to your congregants. Now in the donation options, one of the first things that you see is add a suggested amount. It's highly encouraged that you give a suggested amount um, so that your congregants are encouraged to give at least that much. If you have a higher tier subscription with us, you'll notice that you have recurring donations available. You can choose that to allow your congregants to set up a recurring donation that happens at a regular interval. We really recommend that you add a featured image to your campaign. This will help people visualize what it means to give to your organization. Finally, after you're done entering all the items for your campaign, go ahead and hit publish. After your campaign is published, you can hit view campaign using this link. And there's our campaign with the donate button at the bottom. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add all of your campaigns to a page on your website. So we're gonna start by going to the new button here at the top and we're gonna hit page. If you already have a donations page on your site, you can skip adding a new page and go to that page to add the new settings. On our new donations page, I'm gonna go ahead and use the default editor, although we could use the Divi Builder if we wanted to as well. I'm gonna give the page a title. We prefer the term giving to donations. I'm gonna hit the plus button here to add a block and I'm going to use the short code block. Short codes are just ways of injecting programs into pages in WordPress. And the program that we're going to inject here is Charitable. Now Charitable's main short code is campaigns. And you use an open and a closing bracket. I wanna change one other thing about this page. I want my campaigns to take up the whole entire page. So I'm gonna to go to the document tab and I'm gonna scroll down to Divi page settings and I'm gonna choose no sidebar. This will let the campaigns take up the entire page. Now we're ready to publish our giving page. So I'll go ahead and hit publish.
Let's go ahead and view the page. Here on the giving page, you'll see that we have two campaigns, a test campaign that I made earlier and our Get to St. Mark's campaign that I just made. If I was to hit donate, it would go to the Get to St. Mark's page where I could enter my donation information. Next, let me show you how to add your new donations page to your menu. First, we're going to go up to the site menu here and we're going to go to where it says menus. Now here I see my main menu selected. If you have more than one menu, you'll want to find the menu that's in your main navigation at the top of your site. And here are my different options that I have going on this particular site. Here under most recent, you'll see the giving page that I just added. If I hit the checkbox for that and click add to menu, it'll be here. We recommend that your giving page go um, second to last. If you have a contact page, put the contact page last, but have the giving page go right before it. Finally, we'll hit save menu. All right, let's take a look at our site. Here you'll see in my menu that I now have an item for giving, which goes to my giving page. That's how you add a campaign, add a campaign's page, and add it to your menu. Finally, I want to show you how to set up your payment processors. Now before you start this process, hopefully you've went ahead and set up your PayPal or your Stripe account. If you haven't, take the time to do that now. All right, let's set up our payment processors. First, let's start with PayPal. So I'm going to go to Charitable, and then I'm going to go to Settings. And then up here in the top, I'm going to go to the Payment Gateways tab. And we'll see that I've already defined PayPal as my default gateway. So let's go ahead and uh, look at the gateway settings for PayPal. The first thing you want to do is you want to put the email address that's associated with your PayPal account in the PayPal email address. Now, PayPal has the capacity for you to set up what's called a sandbox. A sandbox is a way that you can test your donations before you go live. Most organizations won't need this. You'll simply be able to put in the live information. And so we're going to skip it in this demonstration. Under Payment Transaction Type, Charitable gives you two options, donations or standard transactions. Use standard transactions unless you've taken the time to apply for PayPal donations. PayPal donations um, gives you a percentage discount on the fees that are charged with each transaction for nonprofit organizations. If you're a nonprofit organization, it's worth it to look into this option. Finally, you need to enter in your API information. There are three pieces of data that you need to enter, and all three you get from PayPal. Let's take a look at that now. And you'll see that right here in the settings, it gives you a handy dandy link to get straight to the settings you need to find your PayPal information. Okay, once I'm logging into my PayPal account, that link takes me directly to the View or Remove API Signatures page. It's also where you go to create an API if you don't currently have one. This is where you get the three pieces of information that's needed in your charitable settings, the username, the password, and the signature. This is where you'll enter your live username, your live password, and your live signature. When you're done entering those items, go ahead and hit save change. Next, I wanna show you how to set up your Stripe account in charitable. So first I'm gonna hit enable gateway. 
Now, if I was to have both PayPal and Stripe active, people would be able to donate with either platform. You probably just need one. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the gateway settings for Stripe so we can see what it looks like there. You have an additional option on this page, use Stripe checkout. When you click this, um, a pop-up window will come up. That pop-up window is actually being served up by Stripe and that's where they'll enter their credit card information. Uh, otherwise, the credit card information will be in line in the form on your donations page. Both are valid options. Okay, so let's go to Stripe so I can show you where to get your live secret key and your live publishable key. Here I am logged into Stripe. One of the things we like about Stripe is it's just so much more straightforward to see where to find your developer keys. So I'm going to click on the link that says developer and then I'm going to click on API keys. Here in API keys, I see the publishable key and the secret key. Copy these and then add them to the matching settings in your charitable settings. After you're done entering your live secret key and your live publishable key, go ahead and hit save changes. Then you'll be set up to receive Stripe charges through charitable donations on your website. Thank you for checking out this tutorial on how to use Charitable. We hope you fully take advantage of this system. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact us using our support pages. Goodbye.